Warmer global temperatures and the melting of continental ice sheets over the last century have increased the global volume of water in the oceans. These factors potentially could raise sea levels roughly 0.7 millimeters per year. Two independent approaches, however, indicate that sea levels are rising at twice this rate. One approach involves tide gauges. These instruments are usually located on piers and monitor the height of the sea relative to nearby geological marker. Data from tide gauges are available worldwide since 1870 and show an average sea level rise of 1.7 millimeters per year over the last century and 3 millimeters per year over the last decade. Another approach involves satellites that were specially designed for monitoring sea levels. These satellites follow a path that transects the temperate and tropical latitudes of the globe every 10 days. They bounce microwaves off the oceans and times how long it takes for the waves to return to determine their distance from the surface. Global positioning systems, GPS receivers on the satellites along with laser rangefinders, establish their orbital height. Sea level is taken as the difference between the orbital height of a satellite and its distance from the sea surface, and such a determination has an error of less than one centimeter. The satellite data shows that sea levels are rising about three millimeters a year over the last decade. So why do theory and practice differ? In this case, projected changes in the volume of ocean waters can account for a sea level rise of only 0.7 millimeters per year, while both tide cages and satellites indicate the average rate is greater than 1.7 millimeters per year. Most likely, Antarctic and Greenland ice sheets are melting faster than previously estimated.